from Zimbabwe dollars to seek any way to change these laws. We said in the mandatory policy statement that we had dedicated AFC Commercial Bank and POSB as the banks that would give cash and people would go to these banks and exchange their bond notes for zip notes and coins. The other objective is to educate the public on the zip denominations and features. Uh, I think the, the, the on, on, on that screen there you can see the coins that we are going to launch and the notes that we are going to launch. What has changed compared to what I announced on the 5th of April is that ZIG 1 to 5 are now going to be coins. And then we have ZIG 10, 20, 50, 100, and 200. Why coins? Because one ZIG is equal to 6 US cents roughly when you convert using the current exchange rate. So you cannot have a bank not for six cents. It's not that the velocity at which it circulates is such that it will get torn and so on very quickly. This is why we have decided to introduce one zig to five zig as coins. We are also in due course going to introduce smaller coins so that we can achieve the visibility of the current. So there will be a quarter zig coming and a, a, a half zig and a, a, a one the other objective is to distribute flyers with pictures, those that you can see on the screen, uh, of the ZIG nodes and also the security features that are covered in these nodes. The nodes have been designed to a very high level of security. Even those who are visually impaired will see that there is a way that they can tell whether it's a one ZIG or a it's a, it's a 5 sig or 10 sig or 20 sig by just touching the, the, the coin or the knot. We also want to go and educate the public on the benefits of the new current zig and to demystify any misconceptions about zig. I said earlier when people are saying, what is the difference? You know, we have we've changed currents before. What is different this time around? We need to make people aware that ZIG is a new currency which is backed by gold, other precious, precious metals, and foreign currency balances that we hold. We also want to encourage the acceptance of ZIG in the day-to-day -day, uh, transactions. I think you, have, you would have seen if you go around, most of the supermarkets are already using ZIG. Most outlets are using ZIG. Even I noticed yesterday that there is an airline which has already started accepting ZIG for your flights. So we want to expand the reach of ZIG so that it becomes acceptable in all outlets. The team will also be there to address any questions uh, the public may have on ZIG and to instill confidence in ZIG by allaying any fears. You know, when we introduce something new, they are always doubting to us. And it is the responsibility of the team to go and allay any fears that these doubting Thomases may have. So what do we expect from the people who are going to be interacting with the, with the public? We have values at the center of hand. And we expect that uh, those who are going to be interacting with people who conduct themselves with transparency, integrity, efficiency.